In this developing country of ours, we have come a long way in terms of construction, from building houses that are now termed as kacha houses, made up of materials like twigs, hay, bamboo or reeds. We sure have made huge developments and now are up to building structures that are termed as pakka houses, which is a solid construction that is made of bricks, iron, metal and other robust material. In this series of Discon Talks, I, Prem, your host, would be talking to Professor Debashish Bhantupadhyay, Professor, Department of Construction and Engineering, Jadavpur University. So, Professor, our one motivation to move on from building our full of heritage kacha houses to the pakka houses is to ensure more safety. So, what all elements do we need to know about to take care before building our houses? You see, uh, there is a long journey from kacha house to pakka house. People used to stay in caves, then trees, etc. Then people invented that some material is required to make it artificial building and concrete is artificial stone, but it has a weakness in tensile strain. So steel came into rescue. Now the main focus should be that uh, the safety, durability and sustainability is important for construction industry. And it also depends on the local resource material to optimize the cost, etc. So, how do we know about the rebar's quality? Uh, do we get to know about it if it's heavy, if it's shiny, or if it's brand new? You see, packaging is not important. It is the important the content, and therefore the tensile strength that is called yield strength, or in case of these rebars, it is called 0.2 percent proof stress that is important. In addition, the most important thing is the ductility. And ductility is measured by the elongation. Additionally, the ultimate strength to yield strength ratio and the overall chemical composition. All are very important to uh, for a good rebar. So what exactly is this purpose of the maximum yield strength? Uh, you see, yield strength is how much load it can carry. Okay. But only load carrying is cons- uh, concerned with the strength. Strength means capacity to withstand loads. Okay. And load includes different natural loads like dead load, live load, wind load, or earthquake, seismic, snow load, etc. Okay. But strength is not, it is important, but it is not everything. Mm-hmm. So you need some mechanism that due to sudden huge load, the structure should not collapse. Okay. And to make the structure collapse prevention, ductility or the toughness, that is the energy absorption capacity, which is very important. So if it's all about yield strength, it basically means that the elasticity of the rebars needs to be controlled for ensuring its strength to manage any bend or jerks of any sort. As Tata Tiscon's 550SD provides a yield strength of 550 megapascal, I would say that it's very, very safe as a choice and best in the market as per its yield ability to absorb jerks and shocks. But just the yield strength won't be the only qualification of a rebar. So what else would you ask the consumers to check? You see, quality means in one word it's standard deviation. That means the variation of quality with different samples. Hmm. So, in addition to the yield strength, I have already mentioned that the elongation, which measures the ductility, that is very, very important. Another issue is st- ultimate strength to yield strength ratio and the chemical composition. And all these properties should have a very low coefficient of variation to make it a, uh, a very good quality product uh, for structures. So, sir, do you think the outside look and feel of the rebar is uh, adds to the value or usability of the rebar or is it all the same? No, uh, uh, look is not so important, but uh, certainly uh, if you see the cross-section of a rebar and if you see the uniformity of the outer core which provides the strength, that is important because the inside one is pearlite and austenite which will provide you the ductility. And the outer side is metamorton side, which will provide the strength. So that uniformity of the outer shell is important. And that is only possible when some uh, good const- uh, manufacturing process is being used. By the touch and looks, Tata Tiscon 550SD has its own unique kind of rip pattern. 
To reduce the risk of structural damage, Tata Tiscon's 550SD has more elongation capacity than the minimum value of 14.5% that has been specified by the IS 13920 standard. Thank you, Professor Bhandupadhyay, for joining us for this episode. In this, in the next episode, we'll be talking about the seismic zones and uh, the earthquake effects with respect to uh, building houses. <laughs> <laughs>